There once was a young student named Saburo. Saburo had fallen in love with a beautiful woman named Atsuyu. After courting for a while, the two lovers planned to be wed. However, Saburo fell very ill and was forced to be away from Atsuyu as he recovered. When Saburo felt healthy enough to meet with his young love, he was told that Atsuyu had sadly succumbed to the same illness, but had died. Saburo grieved for months. At the annual Obon festival, Saburo prayed for Atsuyu's spirit. Soon thereafter, he heard the two pairs of footsteps. Saburo looked up to see the familiar silhouette of Atsuyu and her maid illuminated by a peony lantern. Atsuyu and Saburo are happily reunited, and Atsuyu admits that her death was a rumor created by her deceitful aunt who disproved of their union. For this reason, Atsuyu requested that they meet in secret. Nightly, Saburo would watch from the window to see the peony lantern approach. When he did, he would welcome Atsuyu and her maid through the back entrance. As Saburo and Atsuyu spent the night together, Atsuyu's maid stood guard at the window. But one night, one of Saburo's servants hears stirring from his room. The servant then peers through the, a hole in Saburo's wall. The servant is shocked to see Saburo entwined with a decaying corpse as another corpse stands watch. The servant is horrified beyond belief, and asks a local Buddhist priest for help. The priest is certain that Atsuyu's spirit had returned to be with Saburo, but their union was against the nature of things. When Saburo is told of the revelation, he doesn't believe the priest, believing that it was another attempt to sabotage his and Atsuyu's union. To convince Saburo that he had been spending his evenings with a spirit, the priest takes him to the local cemetery. The priest then shows Saburo the gravesites of both Atsuyu and her maid. Heartbroken and disgusted, Saburo begs for the priest's help. The priest agrees and places an Ofuda, a Shinto talisman, on Saburo's house. Though Atsuyu returns night after night due to the Fuda, she cannot enter Saburo's house. She cries and calls for him nightly as Saburo sadly watches from the window. Each night, he grows more and more depressed as he pains for his beloved Atsuyu. Saburo's servants began to notice that he was also becoming quite ill. He refused food, water, and treatment. Fearing for his life, the servants decide to remove the Fuda from the house for one night and leave Saburo to be with his beloved. The next morning, one of Saburo's servants entered his room to wake him. They were shocked to find him intertwined with the corpse of Asuyu, with a look of pure joy plastered upon his dead face.